I'm resetting the NHL with a fantasy draft and will be selecting 20 players to build a team. For today's challenge, I will need to select from the top star group of physicality. I am able to filter by forwards and defense just so that we can get proper positions. Once I've chosen all my players, we will assemble the team in franchise mode and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. I vote that right now we find out what team we're representing for this draft. Sounds like a plan. Any objections? No? Great. Boom! We get... Why did it not do it? Apparently there was an objection. Let's try that one more time. The Ottawa Senators, let's go. Hey, 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 you will not be editing my lines today. Yeah, I'm just checking the rule book here. It turns out it doesn't matter what your name is, Jabroni. Draft pick number 17 is what we're gonna get. For some reason my mind went to eight, but then I switched to 17, don't know why. Pretty close. Matt Rempe has five-star physicality. So does Ovi, Tom Wilson. Oh, this is easy. With the first pick of the Ottawa Senators fantasy draft, we're going with Victor Hedman. With the second selection, the Ottawa Senators are happy to select Zachary Hyman. Can't lie to you, going for a goalie right now. I'm torn. They're making the same amount, one overall better, but last time I passed up on Soros, he did really well elsewhere, but that's just the way, you know? Nah, screw it, we're going for Allmark. Ovi's still here, I know for sure he was in the five-star physicality, so let's go ahead and get him as hopefully a goal-scoring left winger. We still have from Patty Maroon and up, and Christoph Kreider is a part of that group, so we will be going with another left winger. And next, with yet again five star physicality 85 overall Brandon Carlo that is elite I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here lads but the team is looking not bad another 85 overall defenseman Jacob Truba is eligible that totally checks out the five star group is getting smaller but I feel like because of their overall we're probably gonna have a majority of the team at five stars all right Tim you might be playing with Ovi we'll see guys like Pat Maroon will never get drafted so we can take them last which we will have to anyway. And again, just to reiterate, I can sort by forwards just so that we actually have players in the right position. Like maybe not center left wing, right wing per se, but at least forwards. I am going to select Jamie Oleksiak. Cap space might get a little tight here, but I feel we have a lot of players not making too much, which is going to be very beneficial. Tyler Myers will be our fifth defenseman already, holy. Our final defender will have to be left-handed just so that we have the proper split. This guy does love to fight and he has done it in the past. He's had the most fights in the league except for when I draft him. Maybe he's done it once or twice, but let's put it to the test again today. We do not have a single centerman yet, just realizing that right now. We can change that though with Matt Rempe. Logan Stanley, also six foot seven, just like Matt, a left-handed defender. Why not? There you go. He's left wing slash right wing. In fact, probably a lot of these players are multi-position. I'm not too worried about it anyway. We're just going to go out there and cause some havoc. Three cups in a row. I'm just saying. I could be misremembering, but we drafted Pavel as a backup recently, and his numbers were better than the starter. Smaller sample size. Don't care. We're giving him another go. This is all we got left for forwards. And we'll kick it off with Keegan Kolasar, followed up by none other than Leafs legend... Matt Martin. I'm trying to remember the three players, but okay, I think I got it. My favorite Leafs line of all time was Colton Orr, Mike Brown, and Fraser McLaren. Legendary. Revo, 75 overall. Sign him up. We will be selecting Delorier. Why is Tanner Janot four and a half star? That is ridiculous. And with our final pick of the draft, Ross Johnston, let's go. He might be the only enforcer left in this game. You know what? The fact that we got Hedman... Hyman, Ovechkin, Kreider, like it doesn't look bad. One of yous is gonna have to play center though. Let's see what Jabronski cooks up. Cook? Hold on. Whoa. I speak broken English. I think I just malfunctioned. Like that was crazy. Matt Rempe, first line center. We get a plus three because we got Ovi and Hyman. Wow. There was a time in the past where I drafted a team like this, expected us to get blown out of the water, and we ended up making the playoffs, so... Who knows? Well, let me just check our defense real quick. Holy trombones in a tuba factory. I was not ready for that. In net, we have 90 overall Linus Allmark, 84 overall Pavel. Pretty good. Ovi gets the most points with 80. And we get 43 wins on our way to a playoff appearance. Let's simulate. I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't. But for some reason, they are. There is no way that this team makes it. It's not going to happen. We should, however, definitely have the most pims and 
probably the most fights. Like, who's gonna fight on other teams? We're gonna end up having to fight each other. I can't remember what NHL game it was that we did the physical draft and actually ended up being solid. But this game, it is not happening. This one, in general, has just felt way harder. It has been a much more difficult year to do well. My current goal for this team is just to not finish last in the division. There also wasn't a single blockbuster trade. That's got to be a first. I feel like we must have a pretty good division because honestly, that record, not bad. Is it good? No, but it's also not bad. All right, we didn't make it, but I will simulate up to the Stanley Cup final just so we can see what both of those teams look like, what the President's Trophy team looks like. If it's not one of those two, it is the Mackenzie Weger, Jonathan Huberdo. Matthew Kachuk trade in the finals. Detroit won our division and I would be shocked if they didn't win the President's Trophy with 120 points insanity. They did. They were 10 points up on the Washington Capitals, the Leafs right there with 104. Top 16 teams did make it to the playoffs, that's very good. Where are we? Wait, who were we again? Oh, the Senators, 28th. Yikes. Victor led our team for points, he went off. He was a plus 24. That's weird. Top three players were all plus 24, and so was Truba. Ovi had 88 with 47 goals, which is actually unreal. Rempe had 34 points on the first line. That's not bad. I thought it was going to be worse. And again, Pavel stepping up to the plate. Incredible numbers. The Stewie Decimal System had a season for the ages. 926 save percentage. 44 wins, you are sick and twisted. Extremely close race between Fox and Makar, 97 and 96 respectively. We got 90, so we're up there. I haven't seen 130 points broken in so long. And it is so right that Nate Mack is the one to do it. Clearly he played with Marcheseau and Gensel. That just makes sense. And they also went off. 60 goals for the Nate Dog, Rocket Richard, Art Ross. Probably the heart. All right, let's check some important stats here. Fights. Are you kidding? I mean, we tied, I guess. To be fair, we do have the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth spot. Where's penalty minutes? Am I crazy? I found it and I love it. Matt Rempe, 158, league leading. We did our job. Here's the squadron that won the President's Trophy. They are young. They got Fantilli, they got Holtz, they got Sillinger. How did they pull this off? Yep, still not making a whole lot of sense. This just continues to prove that I do not understand this game and never will. Calgary's in the Stanley Cup Finals and they have McDavid. So they had the very first pick, maybe. I have seen actually Kale McCarr go before him, I feel like. But in any case, it's usually pretty rare to see the teams that get McDavid do well. They normally do horribly. Okay, Andre Miller playing with Cam York, Murphy, and OEL. And 82 overall Kevin Lankinen as their starter. Love this game. Flo Rida has no golds on offense. Gus playing with Claude and Travis. Their depth is okay, I guess. Pretty insane defense. I'll give them that. Miro with John Carlson. Timothy playing with Shane. And even their last pair is nuts. And then they got Thatcher in the net. So maybe defense can win championships, just not when I draft them. Let's take it one game at a time here for the Stanley Cup final. Flo Rida pops into the lead. 1-0. 2-0. Oh no, this could get out of control. Is it going to be a sweep? That's crazy. The fact that Oliver Bjorkstrand had 24 points in 19 games is beyond me. 23 and a third for shooting percentage. Give this man the Conn Smythe, even though they didn't make it to the finals. Florida won the cup. Who's getting the Conn Smythe? It better be the goalie at this point. There you go. Max Pacioretty had 21 points in 24 games played. It should. It should go to Thatcher. If it's not going to Bjorkstrand. No defense really did amazing in the playoffs, except for Fox, but he got first rounded, so couldn't have done that well. You know what I mean? Just kidding. He definitely had his guy. The team just let him down. It's also worth taking note of the team he was playing for. Welcome to the Nate Show. Art and heart, of course. Norris does go to Fox. Kale McCarr's probably fuming. Lady Bing goes to the Con Smythe guy himself. Bedsy. Yup. This is the moment of truth. No. No. I don't believe it. Stewie Decimal System gets the Vesna and the Jennings. His season was incredible. So definitely earn those. Borgens awarded the Bill Masterton. Howes awarded the Jack Adams. Sydney the Kidney gets the Selkie. And then we've got two more Nate Mack trophies. I feel like I said that really weird. Like I just gave up. Nate Mack. 
Neymar. It almost turned into Neymar. Nathaniel Mock Speed. Ladies and gentlemen, your playoff tree. Both conference finals went to seven, and then Florida just brought the brooms out. They went to the dollar store, bought a whole bunch of them, and they brought them out. Ah, uh, Toronto played Florida in the first round, and they almost beat them. Let me know what category you think we should do next. Let me know in the comments down below who's your favorite player that is considered kind of a tough guy, at least by today's NHL, or your favorite tough guy of all time. Appreciate you for watching. If you could like and subscribe, that would be fire. I'll see you soon.